Hello folks, my name is Max Wendroff of Max Wendroff Films and we do documentary films. Or we'll do wedding jobs too. Right now the way the economy is we'll do anything. But anyway, the last documentary we did was a Glenn Bick rally in Washington, Washington D.C. August 28th, 2010. I was so surprised to see so many people there. And the common thread amongst these people were they all hate Barack Obama. And I mean hate with a passion. I mean, you can actually see the steam coming out, out of their head. They all listen to Fox News. And they all complain about the economy. And then they, then they blame Barack Obama about the, uh, for the economy. In reality, it's them. They're the ones who voted, most, most of them all Republicans, and they all voted for George Bush. George Bush was the one who put us in this, this, this predicament that we're in. Huh? You don't have a platform. Oh, sure we do. Right there. American state, let's restore America. We don't need a transformation. We need a restoration of America to bring America back to what she was. All right? We don't need to transform America. We need to restore America. Yeah, how would you do that, restore America? Why? What do you mean, how would you do it? Why couldn't you do it? First thing you got to do is bring back American jobs. All right? How would you do that? How would you do that? I'll tell you how you do that. Number one, all this whole premise of global economy, that was a hugely false premise. All right? Did we not trade with other countries before we had a global economy? Of course we did. Why is it incumbent upon us to build up third world nations? All right? China. Why is it incumbent upon us to build them up? We can. We live in a country that makes everything from matchsticks to space shuttles. Don't tell me we can't make spark plugs. Don't tell me we can't make brake lining. Don't tell me we can't make... I know, but the thing is, though, you see, they can make them cheaper in other countries. Ah, here's the deal. Uh, what, what kind of stuff in China do you buy? Everything. Okay. And, what, and are you happy with it? It's getting better. Huh? Slowly. But yeah, but most, uh, of, most of the time, you're paying half to three quarters of the price for Chinese stuff. <clears throat> it don't last like an American main does, so you have to go buy it again. So what have you done? Ultimately, you paid more money for Chinese Yeah, but the thing is, America. you can't buy that stuff in America anymore. I bet you that shirt's made in China. <clears throat> or probably, no, no, it's not. It's not made in this country. Oh, this shirt is. I can get American-made shirts. And where's it made? Huh? Where's the, where's These the shirt? are made in, uh, let's see, where are they actually made? These are Gilden. These are good ones. Honduras. All right, so see what I mean? Here you're no, selling shirts. I can shirts. get American-made shirts, but you're going to have to pay another $5 a shirt. Well, and they're not going to do that. That's the thing. Well, that's why, why can't they do it? Well, first of all, you won't do it because nobody's going to pay for what they're going to ask them now for. Well, and if why, you can't, why can't they do it? Because they don't have the money. They don't have the money. They don't have the key right there. And if they had the money, they still wouldn't do it. Oh, absolutely. No, they Too wouldn't. Many people are coming around. Let me, to let me tell you why they wouldn't do it. If the shirt costs $10 and they get the same shirt for $5, even though it's made in another country, they get the $5 shirt and they have $5 left over so they can buy weenies or popcorn.